Hello everybody, you're watching The Gods of Season. And I'm gonna give my review for the Irresistible Maple Flavor Johnsonville Bacon Jerky Ready to Eat S Snack Sweet and Smoky Maple. Fully cooked slices of real bacon. This is it. Alright, let's see how it is. All right. Hopefully it's good. I never had it. This is what it looks like. Looks really nice. Let's try the first bite. It's really crunchy. Mmm. Bacony. And you can taste the maple. Mmm. You can taste the smoke too. It's smoky. So just like it says, bacon jerky, sweet and smoky maple. You can just eat it right out of the bag. It's a delicious snack. Mmm. I mean, I can taste that maple syrup on there. Mmm. This is really good. It's got zero trans fat, which is really good. Only four sugars. Got ten protein. Um, got the smoke flavoring, maple flavor. Made from Memphis, Tennessee. It says we've added a sweet maple glaze to our great tasting Johnsonville bacon turkey. The combination of the sweet maple glaze and smoky bacon is simply irresistible. It's like meat candy to your taste buds. You won't be able to stop eating it. Also, try our great tasting Johnsonville deli bites, meat snacks, and varieties like summer sauce or salami beef. I think they're right. This is pretty damn tasty and addictive. Also purchased the transhumanism ne necklace. H plus is the logo. Because that's what's coming soon in the future. We do have uh, replicants that are thinking and smarter than humans now. And now we have the movie Blade Runner 2049 coming out with replicants. It took us 30 years to get here get to <laughs> where we are in technology replicants in real life and here we are also got the transhumanism uh, bracelet it's pretty dope with the H plus logo blue and black I thought blue and black was tight it also comes in uh, blue and white red and black red and white green and black green and white and I think pink and black pink and white so yeah I represent this because this is this is real, you know. Crosses on the necklace. Religious signs ain't real. This is real because this is what's coming. We're already in the pipeline. You know, the fastest uh, computer, smarter than the brain. We got uh, 3D printing software, 3D printing houses, 3D printing limbs, body parts. So the technology singularity is coming. And so this is why I wear this. Because I like the future. And this is what is going to be happening. And once it hits, we'll be living in it. Not only technologically, economically. Robots will be replacing jobs. We will see robots. Like I said, we have thinking replicants like Sophia. She has advanced so much. She now sounds like a human. And she thinks. She has emotions. 
she can show facial expressions. It's, it, it's frightening how real we come. It's, it's like a replicant, like in the Blade Runner. You, you can't tell if it's human or not. And these will help us make a better world and fight climate change. And, um, you know, save the world, save the planet. It's gonna help us. So, I think I'm gonna continue eating these. This is really good. Wow. It's got that crunchy flavor too. I mean, I'm impressed. I've had maple bacon jerky from some other provider. Wasn't as good, it was like more dried. This you have actually the crunchiness like real bacon. And um, this was very cheap actually, I bought it on eBay. I think it was like maybe um, three bucks. Much cheaper than what I bought in the gas station and better. This is delicious. So I get this a 10 out of 10. Get Johnsonville bacon, jerky, sweet and smoky maple. You can taste the sweetness, you can taste the smokiness, and you can taste the maple syrup. And it's bacon and jerky. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. This is really good. Wow. So yeah, stay tuned for Blade Runner 2049 coming with replicants. And now we have real replicants <laughs> from Handsome Robotics, like Sophia. Check out Sophia Awareness 2. And you can see the level of progress how she, she comes. At the beginning she was like robot than human. Now she sounds like you're really talking to a human. I mean, you're having a conversation back and forth. She has advanced. And she's and she was joking about destroying all the humans. She even says in that video. She has <laughs> she has consciousness now. <laughs> she has thinking and awareness. <laughs> and now we got dogs can talk too. Check out the video where they have a this collar and it can sense what the dog is thinking and then the voice comes out. Real talking animals now. Not like religion. Well, fancy. I'm also gonna get some uh, cyber outfits. I like the whole futuristic look. Blade Runner's coming out. I'm gonna get some cyber clothes. Like really futuristic. Somebody walking down the street. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the future. <laughs> it's gonna happen. We're getting there. So might as well rep it, right? I don't think people are ripping the crosses anymore. They're ripping transhumed on the size. Because once you can heal anybody, have eternal life, and resurrect with human technology, upload your brain to consciousness, who needs a God? Who needs prayer? We'll be more than human. We'll be transhuman. Like Robin says, more human than human. So exciting times are coming. Increase your knowledge. Increase your intelligence, increase your body, stamina, power. It won't be regular Olympics runners. We'll have like a transhuman Olympic runners. And the best one will win. If you think the same boat was the fastest, but, um, wait till you see when we become transhumanism runners. Or Michael Phelps. It'll be world record bro broken. Multiple world records broken and set, but there's got to be a winner. May the best transhumanism Olympian win. Now, the Blade Runner movies take place in a post post dystopia, which is actually pretty dope. But so, how would ours be? I don't see any post-apocalypse. There's a meteor asteroid hit us. But we're trying to deflect that, so I think we'll be, we're going to be okay. We're going to last a hundred or thousand years. We just have to predict, uh, prevent those asteroids uh, 
and Boomba once we unlock the secrets of the universe. Which aliens will exist and always ran the universe through with some physics. Use like higher technology, like a dark mat dark uh, matter printer. So they can like transform. So the universe will exist, the aliens will exist. That's what was the debate. Oh my god. And what created the aliens they always existed. There you go. No god. So we're living in like an alien brain. <laughs> the universe. So yeah, the future is coming folks. The technology is in the early stages, features in the you can check it out at once. They call it the techno similarity, the whole economy will be changed futuristically. We're getting there slowly. We already have driverless trucks. Robots replacing humans for call centers. You're gonna see the whole change. And then you can really rip the cyber outfits. Because this is the future. This is the <laughs> If you want to get cyber outfits, there's a great place called Cryo Flesh. Cryo Flesh. Really futuristic clothes and stuff. It's awesome. So get out there. So, you're not living in 2017. You're living beyond. Wear your futuristic cyber outfits. <laughs> Walking in the street. I represent Blade Runner 2049. Because it's amazing. The first one came out in 82. We were not near the future. The one coming out next year, 2049, we're already in the future with real life replicants and a real life transhuman society coming. The technological singularity. We're here, folks. Peace out. And get this Johnsonville bacon jerky. Sweet and smoky maple. This is absolutely delicious. Don't get the one of the gas stations. It's overpriced. And it's dry. It doesn't even... You don't have crunch in this bacon. Get this one. Peace. I'm out. Rock on. Stay heathen.